After a shocking number of deaths that happened during Oregon's recent heat wave, the state is now taking a closer look at its response. And there are a lot of questions as to how people fell through the cracks of the various safety nets that were supposed to catch them. Fox 12's Simon Gutierrez is live in Northeast Portland with some of the state's initial answers. Simon? Yeah, the Office of Emergency Management is conducting a comprehensive after-action review, which it will submit to the governor when it's done. Today, three state agencies, including OEM, discussed how things went during the heat wave and what could have gone better. Two weeks after record high temperatures scorched the Portland area and beyond, at the end of June, the state medical examiner's office now confirms 83 heat-related deaths, with 32 deaths still under investigation. The reality is that such, such excessive and deadly conditions may be here to stay. With that in mind, the state's Office of Emergency Management is conducting a thorough review of the state's response to the three days of triple-digit temperatures, which peaked near 115 degrees. One of the heartbreaking things about this heat wave is that there were resources that were available to communities, whether it were the cooling centers, uh, the transportation that was available, and folks couldn't access those resources. For the first time today, the Department of Human Services revealed that people reported having a hard time finding cooling center information when they called 211. We found out that 211 was not staffed during the weekend. So we asked what it would take to staff the center so people could get the information they needed. They told us they needed additional funding to staff the center. We then provided funding to staff phone lines 24-7 during the heat wave through 11 p.m. on July 5th. Although the results of the after-action review will paint a clearer picture of what other improvements should be made, Oregon Health Authority Director Patrick Allen said it is clear state agencies need to ask more questions about what kinds of support individual communities need in severe weather events. I think there are some places where we need to look at some gaps in services and try to figure out collectively as a system how can we address those. Now we reached out to 211 to ask about the weekend during the heat wave. A spokesperson there said, quote, until July 2021, 211's info operating hours were uh, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, and there was not an expectation that 211 info would be open for a weather emergency unless it was requested by a government partner. We're devastated that lives were lost during the recent unprecedented heat emergency and regret that not all who contacted 211 Info were able to get the support they needed during this crisis. And uh, as was mentioned just earlier there, 211 Info has expanded operational hours to 24 hours a day, seven days a week, at least for the time being. Reporting live in Northeast Port, Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12 Oregon.